In Excel, there are two types of names, defined names and table names. Named cells, constants and formulas come under defined names. Using the name manager, you can easily create, edit or delete defined names. You can only edit table names. You can find names with errors, confirm the values and references of names, view or edit descriptive comments and determine the scope. To open the name manager dialog box in the formulas tab, click on name manager in defined names group. The name manager dialog box displays information about each name in a list. The name column displays the name and a defined name icon or table name icon. The value column displays the current value of the name such as a string constant, a cell range, a constant, a placeholder if the formula cannot be evaluated, etc. The refers to column shows the current cell references. The scope column displays the scope of the name. Workbook if the scope is the workbook level. A worksheet name if the scope is a local worksheet level. The comments column shows comments which are used to show a brief description of the name. You can quickly edit the reference of the defined name by modifying the details in the refers to box. After making the change, you can click on commit to save changes or click on cancel to discard your changes. Table reference cannot be changed. To create a new name, click on new. In the new name dialog box, in the name box, type the name. The scope automatically defaults to workbook. To change the name scope, in the scope drop down list, select the name of a worksheet. Optionally, enter a descriptive comment in the comment box. To enter a constant, type an equal to sign and then type the constant value. To enter a formula, type equal to sign and then type the formula. To select a cell or range of cells, click on collapse dialog button, which temporarily shrinks the dialog box. Select the cells on the worksheet and then click on expand dialog button. To finish and return to the name manager, click on OK. A new name order total is created. You can change the name at any point without changing the reference. Select the name that you want to change and then click on edit. For a defined name, you can change the name. You cannot change the scope. You can change the comments. In the refers to box, you can change the cells, formula or constant represented by the name. After making the changes, click on OK. For a table, you can change only the name and comments. You can see the scope and refers to are disabled. To delete defined names, select one or more names and click on delete. Click on OK to confirm the deletion. You cannot delete a table. See when you select the table, the delete button is disabled. Use the commands in the filter drop down list to quickly display a subset of names. Selecting each command toggles the filter operation on or off. Select clear filter to clear the filters. To sort the list of names in ascending or descending order, click on the column headers. To automatically size the column to fit the longest value in that column, double click on the right end of the column header. To collapse the column, drag the right end of the column header. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.